How's it going everyone and welcome to my first nurseries YouTube channel and today we're having a look at the Kiki and Sevi 6-in-1 multifunctional mini cot. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the Kiki and Sebi mini cot. Now the good thing about this product is it's not just actually a mini cot because this thing can transform into all the sorts of different things. So although it is quite a higher price, you can actually use it for a long time because as, as it turns into a piece of furniture that your child can use as they grow up and play with. So it starts off as a mini cot where when you come from hospital you can use it straight away and then after they get a bit older, slowly outgrowing it, you can actually use the expansion kit which is all included with it and make the actual cot bigger for you as well that you can use all the way up to two years and then beyond that it actually transforms into a table and chair as well so the baby can uh, well it'd be a toddler by then the toddler can sit on it and do some drawings on or what have you and you can also change it into a stacking shelf maybe put some toys on there you can also turn it into a play cart as well that the bit uh, the toddler can um, pull the play cart around as some place to put your toy storage in there so you've got lots and lots of different options with the geeky and sebi cart um, that makes it last a lot longer um, um, and makes more longevity out of you than just a sleeping system. So let's have a look at it in its current state. Right now, this is in the first form you're going to have it in. So this is the mini cot form. So basically, this would be typically used as a next to me crib. So you can have it in the same room as you when you're uh, just come back from hospital and the baby needs a sleeping place and you're considering something that's not just a Moses basket or a next to me crib. This is a really good size. It's really compact as well. And it comes with a really, really nice mattress in the right shape and size for the baby so you don't have to buy anything additional for this all you need to do is get your sleeping bags which Geeky and Sebi do sell as well and the great thing about it is it also comes with these nice wheels as well so you can simply pick it up with the handle and you can pull it wherever you want around the room if you do find it's getting in the way or you want something that's easy to stow away this is an ideal solution made of really really great materials as well this soft kind of rubberized kind of paint finish is really really nice and it's eco-friendly as well made from sustainable wood sources that's what Kiki and Sebi pride themselves on and if you are a conscious buyer like that then this is a perfect product for that as well. So as I mentioned you've got these handles that's easy to pick up and easy to cart around, really really convenient, really nice uh, wheels that's got little brakes on them as well so you can actually push down on the wheel and then it will uh, break in place so you don't think your child's going to be rolling off while they're moving around in the, in the mini cot. That's not going to happen because you do have those brakes you can apply and remove as well. Now let's uh, turn it into the larger version of it which is the full size cot. Let's have a look at the uh, install process. Now inside the box you're going to get a lot of instruction and manuals and hardware but don't worry about it, it's all in there to tell you how to transform it into the furniture piece that you actually are wanting to turn it into and it's really easy and straightforward, they made it quite simple. Also there's lots of videos as well on YouTube, uh, on Kiki's and Sebi's YouTube channel uh, where you can actually learn how to do it yourself as well. Now this is what it looks like after the transformation into its mini cot form. So as you can see the main uh, differences are obviously that it's gone a bit uh, wider in the opening and also you've got a higher wall surround thanks to this additional buffer zone that we've uh, had to add on with the with the additional framework. Now the TV and rail has also been extended as well and it's again it's finished in that uh, rubberized kind of material paint which is also eco-friendly and it's also you don't have to worry about uh, the, the baby biting on there and any of the flakes of paint getting into his mouth because it's completely non-toxic all, all fine there. We've also got the new mattress as well so the mattress is the same thickness as the previous one that was in the next to me crib mode but the only difference is it's, cut, it's actually longer to fill in the whole car obviously. You can be rest assured that the baby's getting a nice night's sleep in there and that comes included with the package as well. Now, now you can still have access to the grab handle rails here on the sides which is really really good and it allows you to still use the 
wheels that are on the uh, stand there and uh, move, make you move around the uh, car if you want to in the room for easy access. Now this can be used from, they say zero all the way up until about two years, but obviously it depends on your kind of child's size and their ability to get uh, up and out of the cot because obviously we have increased the height on there but if you do find that they are getting to the point where they can jump flip a leg over and then they can escape then obviously that's when they're ready to move on to a bigger size toddler bed. Now the height of the entire frame is also adjustable with the legs here which you can change the height from you know uh, the all the different uh, height settings so that it depends if you want to make it easier to get in and out of the cot with the baby so that's all possible there. Now let's change this over to the next version of it which would be the table and chair mode for toddlers which is a really nice piece and it's a great piece of furniture. Let's check that out. So here we have the Kiki and Sebi when it's set up in its table and chair mode. So as you can see, it's a really nice cute little piece where your kid can sit down here. It comes with a nice little cushion as well to put on top of there so they're going to be comfortable so it's not just bare wood. And they can sit here and play with their toys or you know do some colouring books or they've got some books there they can read or anything they want to do really on there and it's really, really nice. Um, what is good as well is the actual table itself. So this will be the default height, but you can actually increase the height using these included uh, little legs that go onto the bottom of the uh, of the table and it'll actually raise it up a bit more. So if the child is growing up a bit more and he's got a bit more, uh, wants, wants a bit more leg room to have that table a bit higher, then you can do that with the optional legs that it comes with there as well. But you know, since my little kid's only uh, small, it's only like one and a half years old now, so I think this is the right height for him anyway. And then, you know, it lets you play, play with him as well. It's quite lightweight as well in this configuration, so you can move it around again as easily as you could before with the wheels. But it's a nice little piece that doesn't take up too much room and allows you to uh, put it somewhere nicely in the corner of a, of, a, of a bedroom or something like that. So it's, again, a really useful piece. It is quite sturdy as well, which I'll demonstrate here by sitting on it myself. So obviously, if you are worried about the weight, don't be because it's a very, uh, very well constructed and you won't have any trouble with your child in there if they're jumping around on it. Now let's have a look at the next configuration which will be the stack shell. Alright, so here is the Kiki and Sebi Sprout when you've got it set up in its tall shelf version so as you can see it's quite a nice kind of uh, height it's about waist height to me and um, it allows you to put all like any like toys and stuff you've got in the nursery finds you a nice little home for it puts them on the shelves you could use it as a bookshelf or some toy shelves whatever you kind of want to do with it really and it's quite an easy access as well for the child to come over grab something that they want from the shelf and put it back or you know just general toy storage you could also maybe couple it up with some toy little baskets and uh, put some uh, uh, toys in there as well maybe some blocks some balls whatever you want to do with it and then it gives you a nice little storage section and it can nicely be hidden away maybe in a corner of the room just to put away some uh uh, for playtime or reading time or whatever you want to do to make yourself a nice little nook for it. Now while it's in this configuration it's easy to change it to its next configuration which is the uh, tall high chair mode so we're going to have a look at that next and here we go. Okay, so this is the Sprout in its tall high chair position. So the main difference between this than when it was in the chair and table form is actually a bit taller. So this is actually tall enough for maybe an adult to use as well, you know, and sit comfortably with the with the taller legs or a, or a toddler who's a bit older, you know, maybe like uh, five to six, maybe eight years old, they'll be able to sit comfortably on this easily and read a book, something like that. Also, you can use the cushion with it as well that we used previously when it was in the smaller chair position. And the main reason why it's taller is because we've used the tub, uh, two sides of the frame and it's actually made it a bit taller than it was before in its smaller chair version where you were using the arches that came included with the 
uh, with the sprout kit as well. So if I was to just sit on this here, you can see obviously for me it's absolutely perfect height. It's a normal standard height that you would have on an adult you know, dining table chair for example. So it could easily last you know, all the way up for adult use as well. Now let's have a look at the Sprout when it's in its final form, which is a play cart mode, which is really cool little pulling cart mode where you can have toys in it. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so this is what the Sprout looks like when it's in its play cart mode. So it's the same size as what the Next to Me crib was. The only difference is we actually inverted the floor to allow room for the wheels here at the bottom. So it's got four wheels at the bottom, which are a little smaller, lower profile than the ones that were actually on the cot when it was in its uh, mini cot mode. And uh, they allow it to actually move around as well. So the, what comes, comes with is this nice little string here which the uh, child can use to pull around the play cart and fill it up with its toys and obviously allows you to uh, pull it around and take the toys wherever they need. It's actually a decent size as well so if you are looking for an alternative to a toy box for example you can fit a lot of toys in here it's very generous room you've got a lot so you can fit big uh, teddies in there as well as the smaller things you know balls whatever you need to do it's really uh, convenient for that kind of thing and it's a bit of fun as well for the children because they can pull it around with the with the uh, string so that pretty much wraps it up now showed you everything you need to know about the Kiki and Sebi Sprout I hope you like the video. If you do have any questions about the Sprout, please drop us a comment in the comment box below. Now it's available at myfirstnursery.co.uk. Check the link in the description to take you straight through to the product page where you can order it today. And it's also available with free shipping as well. So that's everything. Please drop us a like and subscribe if you found the video useful. And catch you on the next one.